Well, I was thinking first um, that the, 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 the profession of a doctor is in, like the prestige of the status of the profession is in decline. So when there are, for example, a lot of artists around, like in this book, uh, there are actors and directors and writers and everybody, then they look at the doctor like, you know, just somebody who has to tell them, it's all right if you, if you drink a gallon of beer a day, you know, and then if they, if they don't, uh, if the doctor tells them otherwise, they, they just change doctors. They won't, they won't take it seriously. So I'm thinking about that, about the prestige, the status a doctor has, um, and that he would be looked upon like, well, somebody we can invite to our parties, but not take too seriously. And only 50 or 100 years ago, this was completely the other way around. And the other reason, of course, was that I thought, if somebody, a, a patient or somebody does something to a doctor and he wants to take revenge, he doesn't have to, and he actually wants maybe to kill somebody, he hates him so much, he doesn't have to buy a gun or invent a murder scheme, but he can just think, if this man or woman turns up with a, a fatal illness and I just say, well, this is nothing. <laughs> and of course, a lot of people die because they are diagnosed wrong and they have a fatal illness and yeah. it's a, actually a medical error. In, in a way, morally it is. I think so, yeah, but I don't know. It's just that, that I think the change is more in um, that we can't make these kind of choices we sometimes want to make. We want to say, well, this is the bad guy, he should go, uh, he should, maybe he should go to jail, or we want to revenge one, uh, ourselves when somebody hurts a member of our family, we want to some, do something really serious. And this is maybe less and less possible, because we're all so, so very uh, civilized. And this is, of, of course, what this doctor all the time is talking about with his uh, former teacher from university who just tells him that the whole world is biology and the survival of the fittest and the Darwinism and everything. And he takes him as the, the voice in off that really tells him, gives him the, the clean conscience to do what he's doing. Well, more, more or less, um, of course, I'm, I'm also in... Um, in the within the middle middle classes, I know this this world very well, and um, I don't know about here, but more or less it might be the same. But there is a kind of political correctness that forbids us to to think things we might want to we might want to think, and we're we're not allowed to say them. So we only think them. The same I did a little bit in the dinner with a kind of person. Some readers reacted to that book, saying, finally a protagonist and narrator of a book who actually does what we are all thinking. This was a minority who said that, but of, <laughs> luckily, I, m I might say, but... Mm, I think it's also, it has to do also that I relate very well to this age group. <laughs> and um, let's say from 15 to 19, and you might theorized that you think, well, maybe you're yourself, me, Hermann Koch, is, got stuck forever in being a boy of 17 years old. But this is just cheap psychology. But I find I'm very relaxed in the company of uh, people of this age, boys and girls alike. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm happy with them and I, I, I can relate very directly to them. So all, Always my sympathy also goes with them. When there are problems at a school, for example, with a teacher, I always take the part, part of the, uh, not never of the part of the teacher. I think, oh, this, of course, this boring teacher is harassing them, and uh, he is, he is the, he's to blame for if there is a problem at a school. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're more autonomous than we sometimes tend to think, and the parents are not that responsible anymore from when they're 15 or 16 years old. We can say something. We can always say, well, I should, um, I should maybe you should do it the other way, or maybe you should do this or that. You could, we can give uh, advice. But they're already too old to, to punish, if ever punishment was really uh, a good solution to whatever problem. I think all, a, a lot of uh, uh, talking about it, it's, it's a, a better thing. Yeah, that's very interesting, because maybe, like in the other countries, in 80% of the countries, it's more or less the same. You know, I think 
France and England and, and Spain and they are more or, or Scandinavia. They are more or less the same thing. But the farther south and the farther away you come, it gets more. It's the, the readers tend or the journalists who review the, the books. I'm not talking about the two books at dinner. They tend to see it more like some kind of social thing that it's really criticizing society as a whole. And the, the most interesting reactions I got, for example, f to the dinner was um, they were almost equal. They were on a on a uh, on a very a school with problems in Marseille in the south of France. And there were there were I was talking with a group also or again of youngsters of 17 year old with their teacher, and they were saying, "We are so grateful that there is a novel where parents." actually defend their children instead of going to the police because we have a brother, we have an uncle in jail, we have everybody in our family, the rest of our family are, are jailed or being, and we the, ourselves are threatened. So the moral gets turned around, around completely. The same happened in Russia where people said, a uh, reviewer said, is, of course the last uh, uh, person you go to when when your child when your child or whoever has committed a crime is to the police because it might be a death sentence or he might at least get beaten up so this the police is not to be trusted <laughs>